critical illnesses in newborns. Signs of critical illness in a young baby point to life-threatening conditions that lead rapidly to death. These babies urgently need hospital-level care to save their lives. Identifying these babies promptly is vital. This video shows examples of babies with many of the signs of critical illness and includes the first care of the sick baby before referral. The unconscious baby makes no spontaneous movements. Try to wake the baby. Clap or rub a foot. The baby doesn't move when stimulated. Lift his arm and let it drop. Then gently pull him up. Notice how limp and floppy he is. He doesn't move at all. Convulsions in a baby are often subtle, such as eyes staring to the side or unusual mouth movements. Convulsions can also be more obvious with repetitive jerking of the arms and legs. A baby who is unable to feed at all may not open his mouth when off at the breast or he doesn't act hungry. He also may not wake up to feed. A baby with apnea stops breathing periodically. Stimulation will often prompt the baby to breathe, but then he may lapse back and stop breathing again. A baby with central cyanosis has an abnormal dusky blue color to his tongue and lips due to a lack of oxygen in the blood. This condition is usually caused by a heart or lung condition. A bulging soft spot or fontanelle on top of the baby's head can be a sign of a life-threatening infection such as meningitis or a sign of increasing fluid inside the baby's skull. A baby with persistent vomiting that needs hospitalization will vomit after every attempt to feed, at least three times in a 30-minute period. Some babies are not ill, but need referral urgently for surgery or higher level care. For example, this baby was born with a cleft palate. And this one has a spinal malformation. This baby bled from his cord stump. His pale lips and inner eyelids show that he's very anemic. He requires a transfusion to save his life. This baby, born with Oten Anus, will need surgery urgently to live. Young babies less than two months old with any sign of critical illness should be referred urgently to a hospital. Before the baby leaves, if he is ill, give the first doses of intramuscular ampicillin plus gentamicin. Notify the facility, write a referral note, and arrange transportation. Guide the mother to breastfeed or give breast milk by cup or feeding tube before and during the journey. If there is no breast milk available, sugar water may be given. Keep him warm through skin-to-skin -skin contact during the trip. 
every effort should be made to refer the critically ill baby. In cases when referral is not possible at all, do your best to care for the baby with the resources you have, even though the care will not be the same. Continue to give IM ampicillin plus gentamicin for seven days. Keep the baby warm and fed every two to three hours. Keep trying to refer the baby to a hospital during this vulnerable week. Remember, signs of critical illness in a baby are unconsciousness, convulsions, unable to feed at all, apnea, cyanosis, bulging fontanelle, and persistent vomiting. Also, refer babies with major congenital malformations, bleeding needing transfusion, and surgical conditions. Give these babies first doses of ampicillin and gentamicin and refer them to a hospital right away. This can save their lives. Thank you.